Hello students, welcome to the E class of computers. In this E class, we'll be studying chapter number three named No More About Internet. Two parts we have already studied. Now we'll be moving on towards the part three. In this video class, we'll be dealing with the question answering session related to this chapter. The very first question, what do you mean by an email address? The email address is a unique address of any user on the internet using email services. Question number two, what is domain name? Answer the question with examples. Domain name is a unique address for every computer on the internet. Examples yahoo.com, gmail.com, redifmail.com. All these addresses we are very well familiar with. We are using all these domain names frequently in our day to day lives. Question number three What are the advantages of an email? Explain. First advantage is email is cost effective. That means lesser amount is required and that amount also is required to get a recharge of internet and then we can assess email accounts. Email is one of the fastest means of communication. Within few seconds, you can send an email to any person sitting all over the world. Our messages can be of a few lines, pages or many pages. There is no restriction in writing down the message. It can be of few lines also, can be of many pages also. You can even send a full book, which is right now available online. You can send those also using email we can send the same message to many people at the same time without any additional cost that means the same message can be forwarded to so many people sitting anywhere all uh, across the world and no additional charge will be there for sending that email The next question, what are emoticons? Emoticons are the writer's expressions or emotions which the writer is using while writing the email or message. These emoticons helps the writer to make the other person understand very easily what he or she is facing currently. Question number five, what are the steps to create an email account? We need to write down the procedure or the steps, how we can create an email account. The steps for creating an email account are, the very first step is, Open any web browser, example Google Chrome. Type the address of the website in the address bar and press enter key. The home page of the website will get opened. So here we need to open any web browser like Google Chrome, UC browser, Mozilla Firefox, any, any other web browser we can, any web browser we can use. And then we need to type down the website address in which we wanted to create an email account. 
and then press enter key the home page of the website will get open in front of us click on create account button a registration form will appear on the screen fill all the details you will get a registration form and you need to fill all the asked details in order to create an email account click submit or next step whichever option appears on the page that means any option either submit or next step just click over that and then your email id will be created Question number six, write the steps to compose a message. So we need to write down the steps, how to create a message while using an email. The steps to compose a message are, open the website of your email service provider. Whichever email service provider you are using, you have to open that particular website. Click on the mail button. Enter your username and password. Every time whenever you will open or you need to assess your email ID, you need to enter your username and password in order to assess it. Click sign in. Sign in option or login option, whichever appears on your screen, you need to click over that. Click the compose message. There one option will appear over your screen compose message. You have to click over that option. Enter the address of the receiver's email ID into field. Then the person whom you wanted to send an email, you need to enter that particular person's email address in the receiver's email id enter subject of the mail in subject field that means you need to enter the subject about which your mail is type the content of your message then you need to type down the content whatever you wanted to write down in the message and then click over the send button so these are the steps by which we can compose a message using an email. Now we'll move towards the extra questions. The very first question is, what is the full form of email? The full form of email is electronic mail. Second question, what is the full form of this symbol? Its full form is at the rate. Now we will have a look at all the abbreviations which we can use while typing an email. First one, BTW. By the way, CYE, check your email, see you L8R, see you later, FII, for your information, JK, just kidding. A SAP, as soon as possible. See you well. Catch you later. BFN. Bye for now. DND. Do not disturb. And have a nice day. The next one L8R. Later. LMK. Let me know. TTFN. Start up for now. THX. Thanks. 
यू आर योर के ओके एल ओ एल लाफ सिंग आउट लाउट ओ आई सी ओ आई सी टी सी टेक केयर यू टू यू टू सो बाई यूजिंग दीज कॉमन चार्ट एब्रीविएशन और एक्रोनिम्स द रीडर हु इज गोइंग टू रीड योर ई मेल और मैसेजेस ही विल एप्रिशिएट द ब्रेविटी ऑफ द मैसेज स्पेशली by using these acronyms the reader will save his or her valuable time so it is very very important that you keep your message or your email in such a way that the reader find it find it easy and valuable moving on towards the home assignment write the meanings of the words first one courtesy second chatting acronyms and the last one cyberbullying you are supposed to write down the meaning of all these words in your class work copy so this was all about chapter number 3 basically in this chapter we studied about how to create an email account and what all facilities email account is providing us including the netiquette of being online i hope you must have understood this chapter well Have a nice day ahead.